guacamole water fire cusps to your love reading for November. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Going to Cancer Leo, Scorpio Sagittarius, and Pisces Aries cusps. This is for cusp signs. Okay, guys, this is the reading of who is coming towards you. I would like to know which soulmate is coming towards you at this time in November. So let's see what is going on with you. New relationships. This is for new soulmate connections, new relationships. Not the ex, right? Brand new. Clarify on who is coming in for my beautiful water fire cusps. We have a, a sexual freedom. We have a person who is very into their sexual freedom, right? They know who they are, what they want when it comes to themselves, their sex and their sex appeals, their sex life. They're not afraid to expose themselves, um, in, right? They know who they are. So look at that. And having that soulmate connection with the two doves coming out. So very beautiful. Um, let's see. Clarify with the dating. Somebody who is not afraid to actually get face to face with you, give you some flowers, take, you know, take you out. You know, this is more of a face to face conversations. Um, I'm not just going to sit over here and text you all day long. Right. I actually want to get out there, go places with you, do things with you. Um, so I do feel like this person is a very intimate person when it comes to, um, especially with the sexual freedom and the dating. Um, and also when it comes to, you know what, I, I enjoy the face-to-face -face conversations, right? So um, this is definitely a person with the yin and yang who is a little different from you. But I do feel like this person is, uh, you know, not afraid to learn, right? And want to learn things that you are doing, want to you know what, you like to go bowling, I'm not big at bowling, or maybe I don't know how to bowl, but I want to learn, I want to do things with you. So they have no problems learning new things from you and sharing new experiences, um, sharing their experiences with you. So, you know, if you're really looking for that type of person who's like, you know what, it's okay, you know what, they want to fish, I'm not big into fishing, but I would love to go fishing, right, because we get to explore this time together and learn things from one another. And remember when you have the yin and yang, it's also a beautiful connection because it's like we go fishing together and then you'll go bowling with me, right? So it's it's a very good, it's like the six of pentacles coming out, right? So you know what? It's great, right? Our energies, we can share and we can learn from each other as well. They may like, you know, scary movies. Maybe you like comedies. You guys can do those things together. I always love those things because that means that there are things out there that we don't always have compatible, but we can learn, right? We can learn from each other. Um, having a lot of abundance, this person might even have a lot of money. Um, they may already own their own home, their own job, be self-sufficient. Um, you know, I, I'm a career-based person. I own my own business, right? They do not have any problems, though, also sharing in the abundance. Yeah, they, they want someone to share with. Yeah, they're looking for the ultimate commitment over here when it comes to soulmates. Um, they're a soulmate. They are looking for that commitment. They're not afraid to be their authentic self, right, and, and love. Look at that. They just want love. It just feels like the divine is actually kind of pushing this together, though, in some ways, guys. can really feel that energy. Um, you know what? Maybe you've been manifesting some kind of soulmate. And you've been waiting for this soulmate to come through, and now the divine wants to push it together. It wants to bring this opportunity together for the both of you, um, right, where you both need to have love. Oh, uh, man. Let's get in here and see what is going on when it comes to this love worth waiting for. The divine timing is at work in your love life. Love it. Right? For some of you, you might have to release an ex right from your energy. Maybe they just got done releasing an ex from their energy. And now the divine timing is coming through because it does say calling in a soulmate, new love. Like I said, it feels like it was almost like calling in a soulmate. Right? Um, but it does feel like, yes, there's a lot of attraction. But yes, some of you may just need to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life not allowing other energies in, right, to, um, you know, 
interfere within this beautiful new soulmate connection. You guys may have already met this person or this person is on their way um, one way or another. A lot of heart-to-heart -heart conversations at the bottom of the deck, so I really like that. Not afraid to express their honesty and their feelings. Um, and that's the type of person that everybody, you know, really wants, whether they're male or female. But I also think because they have a lot of sexual freedom, that it's not going to be hard for this person to open up. Because they know who they are and they know exactly what they want in life. It's probably a more, you know, it's a more mature person. A person who knows who they are and what they want. And everybody wants that. Um, so Spirit says it's time to make sure that your heart chakra is open. Open for compassion. Open for this relationship to either, you know, like I said, if you guys already have this relationship, you know, and this person's already within your life. You know, just make sure that you're keeping your heart chakra open to allow the relationship to continue to, to grow and build. For those of you waiting for this person to come in, it's time to open up your heart chakra to allow this soulmate to come to you. Allow, you know, this beautiful love, um, you know, to, yeah, to build as you are waiting. And it's building within yourself, right? Because, you know, to receive love, we give love, right? And we also love ourselves. So just allow everything to go with the flow. You have the wheel of fortune. Everything is within divine timing. It does feel like this, you know, this is destined to happen. This is something, I'm telling you, this is something that, you know, you, your soul called this person in. You wanted this or, you know, you manifested. You asked, you know, the universe for this and here it is, right? Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Whether you know this person or not, you know what it is you want, right? So... Absolutely. I am loving this. So there's the ultimate love over here and knowing what it is you love and how to love. And I just feel like, you know, between the both of you, the way you're going to express your love together is going to be so healthy. Um, right. They need this. You need this. Right. And it's very, yes, healing for both of you. So there could be something going on for some of you, not all of you, but it could be that the relationship is just healing. Right? Maybe you both are getting out of a bad relationship and, you know, it just feels like, you know what, we can heal each other through our words, through our love, through our expressions, through our joy, right? And just, yeah, allowing the Ace of Cups to keep overfilling. And this is the type of relationship that just keeps building and building and building, right? As you are opening up to one another, as you are coming together with the Two of Cups. Wow. So it's kind of like, I'm not going to hold back on this situation. We're going to have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations, Right, because, yeah, we're going to keep very optimistic about our love relationship. We're going to stay very positive thinking, right, because we can just continue to keep building this relationship with one another. Wow, that is awesome. Beautiful. Let's get a couple of tarot cards over here and see what's going on in this situation. Clarify on the person coming in or who just arrived, please, for these beautiful water fire signs. Cups signs, cups signs. I think I even said it wrong then. Uh, let's see. Okay, guys. Ooh. Oh my God, these are beautiful. Page of Swords, Strength, and Ace of Wands. Oh, just a beautiful, fiery relationship with full of desire and just potential and growth when it comes to the two of you. This person is a very strong, uh, courageous person. Could be a Leo that you are dealing with. doesn't have to be. Um, and it also could be a Libra or a Gemini, which is talking about, you know what, this person is curious. They do have that thirst of knowledge. They do want to know things about you. They are full of ways of communicating. This person could be a kind of for some reason, I want to say that this person may be a Libra. I just feel like this person is very open to wanting to talk no matter what. Um, so you could be definitely be dealing with an air sign. Um, but they definitely have, you know what, they're the type of person I want to talk, but I also want to pay attention. So good listening skills, good talking skills, wants to listen, wants to learn about what's going on. But I love that because that was what I was talking about, the yin and yang scenario as well, where we can learn from each other you know, to do other things, keeping it, you know, uh, kind of, uh, well, interesting in a lot of ways. If you think about it, right, the relationship won't be boring, right, if I'm learning other things, right, and it's not always, let's do what you want to do, right, or let's do what I want to do. We can learn to do things together and find other things, too, and really build this relationship. 
Um, this is a card of marriage also, as you can see that they're at the chapel. So this could be the person that later in life you may marry or a type of person you could see yourself marrying. This is building something big, right? This is a lot of collaboration, a lot of teamwork. This person could even come in and help you with your business, right? If you're an entrepreneur, maybe they can help, you know, uh, get the word out, give you a billboard, whatever it is that you're needing, get you clients. Maybe they have clients and they can give you clients, right? Maybe you both have a business. Um, <clears throat> over here on your situation, uh oh, we have the chariot, the sudden awareness of the four of cups upside down. I love that though because that's also saying, I see the ace of cups. And here's that ace of cups. So it's not like the ace of cups is, you know, dabbling over your head saying, look at me. It's showing, it's in reverse. It's saying, I see that ace of cups. I see it's right there um, in front of me. Absolutely. With the acceptance of the five of cups also in reverse saying, I see the two of cups. I see the ace of cups. You have the two of cups and the ace of cups. So it's saying, I definitely see where everything is coming together. I can see the love. I can see where everything is meant to be moving towards me. I see my own destiny with this person. I see this person and I do get along very well. You know what? I see our relationship building and you have no problems opening up to them because you feel very comfortable with this person, right? Whoa. Uh, page of cups, the star, hope and calm and faith. You do. You feel like this is kind of like the place of, you know, good fortune, feeling hopeful that this relationship can continue to give you wonders, continue to, you know, have maybe even surprise. Maybe this person likes to surprise you. Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, or a Pisces, and you feel like, you know what, this person likes to surprise me. Maybe you like to surprise them with gifts, right? So however it is, it's always like having some kind of, I don't know, I just feel like they like to take you places, and maybe you're like, where are we going? And they're like, sure, I'll let you know in a minute, right? And they're always surprising you with new things. Maybe they're also bringing you flowers or chocolates or something and always giving you something um, to surprise you. They just like that smile on your face, right? With the star card, it says, I see you're so smiley and you're so beautiful, right? And uh, they just love to make you happy, right? So, wow. Okay, my friends. And that was it for you. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.